Groundhog, Gamer Dude! Uh -huh. After Urban Warfare, the Misadventures arc would set up some mini-stories where we were not dealing with some giant big bad and action non-stop. Just chill, normal stories featuring characters other than Sonic, thank goodness, with only tiny small action sequences. But at the same time, it would set up the key elements in issues 69 through 75. While it had good moments, there definitely were some lows here and there. Asking what you guys thought, many of you said that having two stories made many things feel rushed, and that some parts were genuine filler, like the dinner stories, were just completely unnecessary, and both it and issue 68 felt like one-shots or annuals, just pure filler. And no, I'm not saying filler is bad, and they do tie into the main story, but did they really have to be main issue stories? They could have been one-shots or annuals. Many also say that because there are so many separate plot lines going on, things end abruptly in a bad way for some. The Sonic and Blaze sections were nice, it's good to see them and some Rush and Unleash references, but it didn't really feel like it needed to be in the main issue. The Knuckles mini adventure, it was good to see him again, and his interactions with Amy as well as the Chaos were highlights, as they are some of the people that he trusts the most, and I'm happy to see him square off with Storm again outside of the writer's games. The dinner stories were just... there. The Babylon roads were good to see, but they were just used to distract the Chaotix. That was good thinking, I will say, on Clutch's part. But many did not like how Jewel doesn't apparently know who Clutch is. But I do remember that Ian said that the heroes aren't always there at the Restoration all the time, which they do bring up in story. And he also says that they don't always tell them everything, apparently. They aren't the police, and they don't have to have info on every villain they've come across. But then this just confuses more people, because why wouldn't they tell them about every villain they've come across to have on file on the computer or something? It's not like Knuckles' situation where he doesn't know anything because he's on Angel Island 24-7. But I get it. It's for story purposes. Like with how Jewel told Amy about the corporation, but not about Clutch. But even then, I'm pretty sure they wrote Clutch to make sure that he used a uh, fake name or identity. And speaking of Clutch, we have him teaming up with Mimic. But this whole thing with Mimic was a big time disaster. I'm not saying the plan was a disaster. It's because of what happens after Mimic infiltrates Restoration. Issue 63 was setting up a big thing. Duo, aka Mimic, get spotted doing mysterious things that Whisper and Silver catch on to and deduce that it's Mimic in disguise and plan to spy on him. We all thought that since we saw Duo on future covers that maybe Whisper would decide to wait to expose him in order to figure out what he's up to. But then, issue 64 derails everything in the fastest way and worst way possible. Lanolin acting like she is superior above all and not giving Whisper and Silver leeway to expose Mimic, these two jumping straight in just to expose them when they should have waited a bit more, saying that they don't have evidence, even though they do, just say what you saw. Even Whisper's mask that records things has it. And then, falling for his act, Whisper actually buys it, even though she knows that he is smart enough to fool people like that. And then, Silver getting kicked out? Had this not be a sword session of the misadventures, it might have been a lot smoother, and not so quick, and maybe they could have found a better way to keep Mimic from suspicion. I really don't get why they had them be suspicious in the first place, just only just to drop it in the next issue. Yes, I know they wanted to have a way to keep the story going, but now, because we as the audience are aware of Duo Mimic, it's just waiting for the inevitable big slap to the face that they were right and you were wrong scene. It just was not good. I did not like how they executed this. And then we have issue 67, which was actually very well done, I will say. It caught me biased because of Surgeon Kit, but it is setting up something that is expected to be big. I hope. And it also opens doors to what Clutch knows about Surgeon Kit and possibly even more. And then 68 is just random, and then the only significance is the Emerald. I assume they'll be used in the next arc, 
but I really don't know how, unless he gets some giant big robot or Sir gets another upgrade, I don't know. And that's it, that's the end of this arc. Apparently, uh, Evan Stanley says that issue 67 and 68 were part of the Misadventures arc. Even though it was kind of worded that 66 was the final part of Misadventures, probably bad on the publishing people's parts, you know, in the solicitations. In my opinion, I think 67 and 68 should have been switched. Have the Emerald and the Cape thing be 67, and then have Search and Kit be 68. That way, it would have been um, uh, ending on a bigger cliffhanger before this long break. I didn't hate Misadventures, but it definitely was a mixed bag for me in some places. A lot of things should have been better and could have been better, and handled differently. I give it a 3.5 out of 5. It has some good parts, but many needed fixing. What are your thoughts on this arc? Let me know in the comments and enjoy this long break.